What's up you guys? So, uh, a big part of what you guys have been giving me feedback for when I was creating the approaching system was that a lot of people wanted to know information about how to stop overthinking. You know, you get that moment where you see that pretty girl when you're out and you just, you're thinking about talking to her, you're thinking about talking to her, but you have all these thoughts running through your head and then up, uh, well, she just walked away. <laughs> <laughs> you spent so long thinking that the opportunity passed you by or you walked up and you talked to her and you were so stuck in your own head that while you were talking to her, you couldn't focus on what she was saying and the, you know, the opportunity that you had was very, very weird, okay? These are very common things I see with guys when it comes to overthinking. So in this video, what I'm gonna talk about is just like a little sneak peek of what I'm gonna be covering more extensively in the approaching system. Um, but we're gonna talk about overthinking today. We're gonna talk about why it's not good, why you should try and reduce it, um, how to deal with it, and what are some practical steps that you can do to kind of help uh, cut down on this problem. Um, I'll go over one good practical tip that I think will help you guys, okay? And uh, I'll also kind of illustrate this through a couple stories um, that I've done. So overthinking is not good. I don't think I need to tell you guys this. That's why a lot of people brought it up. Uh, but overthinking makes it a lot tougher for you to actually walk up and go up to the girl that you're interested in. And a lot of times you end up leaving the opportunities on the table. Like she just walks away because you're just, you're trying to psych yourself up to go talk to her and she just leaves. Um, or a lot of things can happen during that time, okay? Uh, also too, while you're talking to the girl, like a big part of having a good interaction is being present to the moment, and if you're not present with this person, then she's gonna think you're weird or it's gonna come off as a little awkward. It's just not gonna go, it's, it's not gonna be fun for either of you. So you wanna reduce the amount of like messages and words and voices that are going on in your head, all these different thoughts that are happening, which are probably not helping you out, okay? Essentially how to stop thinking, all right? Um, now, when I first started going out, I couldn't do this very well. I suffered from overthinking so badly. Like, I remember one time I was going out and I was like, I, I'm not going home until I talk to a girl. And so, you know, about an hour went by and I saw this girl who was kind of uh, just hanging out. She was sitting down. It was like a perfect opportunity, honestly. She was, um, she was cute. Not like ridiculously hot or anything. She was she was a cute girl, um, seemed very nice. And I walked up and um, I forget what I said at the beginning. I think it was you know something about me thinking she was cute or she looked like she was um, you know I don't know. I forget what I said. But the uh, after the opening line, I remember I was in my head so much. I was thinking like like just say whatever, dude. Just say whatever. And so I was like, so how's it going? <laughs> She's like, oh, it's going good. I'm just sitting here talking. And then, uh, and then I was like, oh, cool, that's awesome. Um, and then I was stuck in my head again, thinking about what I'm gonna say, what am I gonna say? And uh, like, because I was overthinking so much, I kind of forgot what she had told me and I asked her, how is it going twice? I asked, how is it going two times in a row? And she was like, um, yeah, it's going good. Uh, I actually gotta go right now. And she just walked away. And I was sitting there, or sorry, I was actually standing. I was standing there and I was just like, can't believe what just happened like why the fuck did i say that <laughs> i don't know if you guys have ever had moments like these but this is how it was when i first you know started to work on this area of my life okay now let's fast forward to about a couple months ago when i filmed the infield for a lot of the approaching system you know the one of the first times i went out i was super freaking nervous like i hadn't gone out in six months this would be a perfect time for me to start getting in my head for me to start overthinking too much and yeah sure there was some thoughts that probably weren't helping me out but when an opportunity presented itself i took it you know there was one girl who was uh, i remember she was standing on uh, on the beach this was actually before we started recording and oh my God, she was so gorgeous. Um, she was like like the classic LA girl, like you see that's like probably in the magazines or whatever. And I remember being so in my head before I walked up and talked to her. But as soon as I walked up, it was like right as rain. We communicated back and forth, we talked. Um, she seemed like she wanted to hang out later. So I was like, cool, well, let me get your phone number. And so I got her phone number. We were texting all, the, all later that day. And it was like a perfect interaction. The ironic thing is, is that for both situations, 
I don't know, like I was really nervous. I was a little bit less nervous for the second one, um, but it wasn't that much of a difference in terms of the nerves and the amount of thoughts going in my head. I was still dealing with those. It's just I dealt with them in a different way before I started talking to her and during when I was talking to her. I did different things than I did in the first one. So one of the things that I did is something that I'm gonna show you right now, which is I allowed myself to warm up, okay? I got myself into the social mode. And warming up is a super important thing. I mean, right before you're about to do a physical exercise, if you don't warm up properly, you're probably gonna hurt yourself. Same thing can happen with a social interaction. If you're not ready to, to, to you know, actively go out and talk to a random stranger who you think is attractive and be able to make some progress with that person, you might hurt yourself in the process of being able to do it. So work your way up and start with smaller things beforehand. So this is one of the things that I like to do before. Hey man, how's it going? Hey, all right. How's it going, man? How's it going? Hello? Hey guys. Hey, how's it going? How's it going, you guys? <laughs> From San Francisco. How's it going, man? How's it going, you guys? How's it going, you guys? I love your dog. How's it going, you guys? How's it going? How's it going? Hi. Hi. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. I just like to say hi to people. Sometimes if, you know, there's not a lot of people around, um, you know, maybe I'll call a friend or I'll do something like that, okay? The, I go over how to warm up much more in depth in the approaching system, but if you think you're just gonna start and just go up to a level 11 right away, yes, you can do it and I'll, I can show you how, but it's a lot more difficult than for a lot of you newbie guys out there that are still learning how to do this. A warm up is super, super important. If you warm up properly, everything else is easy, okay? But not having a good warm up, it makes every single approach that you do that much harder. And every time you talk to a new person, you feel like you're having to work yourself up, you feel like you're getting having all these thoughts go through your head. The best way to get rid of overthinking is action, okay? The biggest threat to anxiety is action. And if you take the right kinds of action, then you're gonna find yourself not thinking so much when you're in the, in the interaction. <laughs> um, and you're doing what women say that you always should be doing. You're just being yourself. You're being your best self. And that's really what it's all about. So there's more on that in the practical approaching system, but I thought, you, I thought I'd give you guys a little sneak peek right here. So the link is down below if you're interested in it. Again, guys, there's we're gonna have the lowest pricing for the next uh, about seven days. So for seven days, a little bit less than that, maybe like six and a half, we're going to have the lowest pricing there. If you don't sign up within the next week, that's fine, but you're probably going to pay double the prices that are being offered right now. So I encourage you to purchase it now, and I'll talk to you guys soon. See you on the inside.